and they said, uh, you know, we're going to lower it down. Are you, go are you okay with that? And I went, yeah, no worries. Mm. And when they went to lower it down, the person that was holding the crane, yeah. it dropped. Oh, no. And <laughs> I, had, I had a person's mobile phone because yeah. I, that was the prop. Yeah. And instead of me panicking, I just put the, the phone straight on the roof, <laughs> under the roof, and I'm going, help me, help me. <laughs> and they're going, is he all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? I said, yeah, I'm fine. They said, what about the phone? <laughs> yeah, claim that on the insurance. Yeah. It could have been a good Telstra and Optus sort of ad. Yeah. Commercial. <laughs> yeah. Reception. So when was that? Oh, that was, that was ages ago. Triple mm. um, Zero Heroes, that was ages ago. Yeah, that was yeah. Uh, with Lisa McCune. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, I wasn't Lisa McCune. It was sort of like a reenactment. Yeah, it was all reenactment. Yeah. But sort of um, the, the thing they asked me to do after that, and they were going to, to get a stuntman in, mm. and they said, when the car fills up, are you able to... Hold your um, breath and... Hold your breath and yeah. we're going to kick the window in and we want you to swim out. Yeah, okay. So did you, did you go back to your contract and go, there's nothing about being in a drowning car and kicking windows out or... Did you, no, did there, you, I, I didn't. I, yeah. I didn't. I just said, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. And they went, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 don't be so excited. <laughs> and and the, the safety guy said, I need to talk to you about this. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I, said, I said, look... I used to surf and mm. stuff and hold my breath. And yeah. yep. I said, look, this is just through the, through the window yep. and, and out. I was like, there's no yeah. holding under any. Yeah. But ask Gary Houdini how that worked out. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but they, they did it and I did it and I, I saved them a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, maybe, you know, people might say, mm. oh, you know, you've done... You a, took a job from a stuntman. Yeah, you took a job from a stuntman. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know... But you know what, yeah. when... When you want to get the work, you want to please constantly. Correct, you know. and it, to me it wasn't dangerous. Yep. Uh, they had all the safety people there. Yeah. They yeah. had me in and out of the tank, yep. uh, getting under a hot tap yep. Uh, yep. because hypothermia and stuff. Yep. Um, yeah, I spent a few hours in that tank. Okay. Gee, that long? He came out looking like a prune. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they kept, the, the nurse kept saying, no, he's, look, you can see he's starting to shiver, get yep. him out. Yep. No, I want the yep. money, I want the <laughs> job. The, the only thing I'll say is, if there's any weapons involved, mm. uh, do not have any weapons on site unless you've got an armourer because that's where things go wrong and we know about that. We know what's happened in America. Yeah. Um, and, you know, yeah. they lost... And that, that happened with Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin and they lost, yeah. you know, they, they lost a great talent yeah. in, the, in the director and stuff, you know. Yeah. Especially people doing guerrilla shooting as well. Yeah. well no, they do. When, when, yeah. when uh, we were kids... Um, we had, uh, you know, in school you would shoot films, and back then it was actually on, you know, like, Brrr. yeah, yeah, on film. Mm. And they went and held up the State Bank on the corner of Albert Street and Sydney Road, but it was all like a thing. Mm. But people in the public thought it was real, yeah. yeah, you know. And basically the cops came and everything like that, and they were lucky they never got shot. I did a show it. called Home Invasion. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, with Jackson Gasteline and and. Um, uh, Tim, Tim was the director as well um, from the ABC. Anyway, we we went into this house and we're running up and down and and uh, finding things that people wouldn't expect to find. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, you know we're doing an uh, after hour was uh, triple X rated interview you know, after this. But anyway, uh, we'd finished the shoot and the neighbours had rung up and said. There's people robbing the place. Yeah. Wow. And the police turned up yeah. after and said, do you know anything about this, Willie? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Come back, tell you under the arm, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a lot of work to get mm. permits and film and stuff like that. And mm. I know quite a few filmmakers and I've been in quite a few, you know, um, student films and things like that. And they've been guerrilla shoots, but obviously nothing to alert the public, you know, to um, <clears throat> make a... Safety's, uh, yeah. safety's the biggest thing, yeah. you know. Do you reckon it's like one of those things, like, because there was Alec Baldwin involved, do you reckon this shit goes on all the time, but because it's someone that everybody knows, all of a sudden yeah, it's more important? I, I commented on this on, on Facebook, and I don't normally comment on mm. things like this, but I, I just said, I don't understand why the safety crew never had a ballistic screen mm. uh, in between 
the director and the cameraman. Yeah. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. And that gun, every, every time I've been in yeah. something with guns, with mm. blue healers, mm. um, a stingers was bikey wars. Yeah. Uh, every single weapon was checked and then double checked yeah. when we handed it back in and then double checked before they gave it back to us. Yeah. Yep. And we were never to hold a but gun are, like we are talking weapon. about yeah. America here. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about America. Yeah. So it's a, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, totally yeah. different safety protocol. But our safety, safety our safety here is great, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. So you sort of sorry. Oh, oh, that was your dog <laughs> barking. That wasn't me. That was. <laughs> so you sort of touch on the you have a Geelong. What 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 works for you? What do you do outside of the film industry? Like you're a full time actor. Yep. Yeah. You know, there's bikey pubs and that you get to. What what do you do? Outside of here, what do you like to do? Oh, I love to ride, ride motorbikes, yeah. uh, fish. Okay, uh, where did you get out fishing? Uh, I sold my boat, so yeah. now basically, uh, and catch dogs, I love to catch dogs. Uh. <laughs> is that yours? Or is no, it? That's, that's next door. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's not soundproof, as you can tell. Might have been sleeping on the couch. But I catch a, a fair bit of snapper, off, okay, the, yeah. off the rocks. Pinkies, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, big. Big snapper. Okay. Uh, last one I caught was six kilos. So. Good size. Yeah. That's that pinky. Yeah, yeah, off the rocks. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I haven't been down for a while because uh, I've been riding my bike a fair bit. Yeah. Well, yeah. you've got to take advantage of this season. It's mm. almost over. Yeah, you guys ride bikes too. We do. We them. do. Yeah. We get away yeah. every now and then and do yeah. some stupid stuff. Yeah, but, that, uh, <laughs> we should take the bikes out Pete's way. <laughs> Pete should come on the Barry Way with us. No. <laughs> you come down, to dude. Oh, come, my God. Come down to the Great Ocean Road. <laughs> Now yeah. that, that we do. The gay yeah. road. We used to the gay road, that's yeah. exactly right. We used to do the gay road in the 80s. Yeah. We carved that place up. We lost yeah. a few yeah. people over yeah. the rails yeah. a few yeah. times. Do and you know, yeah. uh, I've played a bikey in a, a yeah. fair few about shows. You bikey wars before. Were you in that with Pete Flattery? No. no. Uh, I was in hospital in Queensland at the time, oh, okay. uh, having my neck fused. Uh, oh. But the original script, I was involved with the guys at did it and yep. then it was sold to America and then uh, everything stopped yep. uh, because my mate Wombat in Geelong, uh, who, uh, he, who not passed, this a, wombat. not this Wombat, <laughs> but uh, he, he passed away, he drowned in the rip oh, uh, diving, but uh, oh. he, he was supposed to be involved in the original one yeah. and I think it was to do with the funding and stuff and then they sold the script to America. Uh, when I did become Sons of Anarchy, you go, did, that, <laughs> did that evolve? Uh... Basically, it, it, it's not far off it. You know. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that, well, that, yeah. that Kurt Sutter's a madman. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. And Andy McPhee, um, Andy our Australian, our old Australian, old good old Australian the mate. The Irishman. Yeah. He played the Irishman. He yeah. Did, yeah. yeah. Well, I watched all of that and it was a bit bizarre towards the end, but you couldn't stop watching it. was like a train wreck. You had to I stopped watching it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Lost. I stopped yeah. watching yeah. that. Oh, God. Yeah, it just got too, huh? yeah. And now you've now you got La, La Brea. <laughs> I'm just yeah. wondering where oh, that's going to go. Shh, we don't talk about La Brea. <laughs> <laughs> it's back at the moment. Mm. So, uh, yeah, whether, whether it'll get chopped halfway through, who knows? Because it cuts yeah. your time. Uh, well, the thing is, um, no, nah, I won't say anything about La Brea because yeah. I've no people working yeah. there and stuff. So, <laughs> But what we can say yeah. is where do you reckon the direction the films are going now with things like you know, Netflix and Paramount and Amazon and Stan? Like, you know... Uh, I think Netflix because it's fantastic. Yeah. The, the whole that whole streaming medium is fantastic. I just feel that we're still not there for independent filmmakers. Yeah, that's that's my concern. Uh, you, you know, you've got guys like Chris Chris Sun. Um, he, he's doing the horror films, and and then you've got Matthew Holmes. Uh, he, he did the Legend of Ben Hall, and mm. there's a film that that never got any recognition in Australia, but they're still writing about it overseas. Mm. Um, and then you've got my mate Luke, uh, the one that we did, a Small Punch in a Little Town. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're still looking for somebody to, to have a good look at it. Because yeah. Yeah. that looks a really good film. Because we, we did fantastic. the trailers, it looks yeah. amazing, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It's a fantastic film. Mm. You, um, you know Ivan Milliken? No. Yeah, Ivan's got, uh, what's his production, Nexus. Yeah. Nexus uh, production. Film. Oh, no, I've heard of Nexus. Um, and he's got a film called Incapore, and that's on Amazon or Prime or something yeah. like that, and I've watched it, and it was actually really yeah. good. It was quite erotic, so look it up, <laughs> In Incapore. Um, but, yeah, it was filmed, like, all overseas, America, uh, Switzerland. Or See, he's got, like to, he's got to recoup the funds for that film. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. You know, and that's the hardest part. 
you don't know how much these companies like there's a lot of stuff going on there yeah but you don't know how much they're probably only getting paid like three hundred dollars for the for the show or something oh no they're like probably that, you know? it's in the thousands but they yeah. the thing is it costs thousands yeah, yeah. oh yeah it yeah. costs yeah. thousands production, production, production. Yeah. unless you're getting uh film finance or yeah, you know australia, screen australia, australia or anything like yeah. that you know it's like this show. You know, we, we're all sitting here for free. You know, no one's getting. Yeah, no, and what you're doing for for the.